Hey, Henry, are you free tomorrow? Let me think. I'm free only in the morning. That's great. Want to play basketball with me? Only the two of us. Do you want to invite anyone else? I know Tom. He's a very good player. We can ask him to join us. All right. Let me ask Tom after class. So where are we going to play? At school, I guess. There's a basketball court near my house. It'd be better for us to go there. Okay, please send me the address when you're home. Sure. Will you join me for coffee? Finally, it's break time. Will you join me for coffee, Lily? Sure, Caleb. I know there's a very good cafe near here. Okay, let's go. How often do you drink coffee? Not very often, to be honest. I prefer tea to coffee. Wow, interesting. What kind of tea do you usually drink? I love jasmine tea. How about you? You must be a coffeeholic. How do you know? <laughs> For me, I like drinking every type of coffee, but I'm a big fan of lattes. Could we have lunch together one day? Hi, Bob. Where are you going? Hi, Ron. I'm going to the library. You? I'm on my way to the cafeteria. I've heard there's a new dish today. Oh, really? I've never tried food at the cafeteria before. How does it taste in general? Well, it depends on the menu of the day. Oh, so the menu is different every single day? That's right! Yesterday they served cheesecake, but today they don't. Ah, oh, I see. I have to go now, but could we have lunch together one day? Yes, of course. Just tell me whatever you want. Can I get you anything else? Hello, madam. How can I help you? I'd like to buy some oranges. How much is an orange? That will be 25 cents, madam. Then I'll take three oranges. All right, let me pack them for you. Can I get you anything else? I'm also looking for some carrots. How much per kilogram? A kilogram of carrots is $2.16, madam. Great, I will take that. Do you need anything else? No, thanks. Please follow me to the counter. What do you think about this event? Do you know that there will be a lot of school events next week? Really? What are those events about? We have a lot. On Monday, there will be a food fair in the afternoon. We can enjoy food from different cultures. What do you think about this event? Fantastic. I love trying new dishes. But unfortunately, I have class from 3 to 6 p.m. Oh, no. How about the other days? Well, we have an acoustic event during lunchtime next Tuesday. So the school music band will play instruments and sing at the cafeteria. Wow. So we can listen to their music while having lunch. Yeah. Sounds good. I think I will have lunch at the cafeteria on Tuesday. Are you here with anybody? Lucy, is that you? Hello, Jim. What a coincidence. 
Yeah. Are you here with anybody? Nope. I came here by myself. And you? Actually, I came here with my sister and her friends, but they are just going somewhere to get food. Ah, I see. So do you want to walk with me while you wait for them? Sure. It's been a long time since we've seen each other. By the way, why are you going to the theme park alone? Oh, well, I just want to relax by myself. And I think a theme park is not a bad idea. Haha. <laughs> Wow, interesting. Yeah, but since you were here with me, I think I'll be less bored. You're right. The more the merrier. Let's play some games here together. I want to ride on the roller coaster. Have you got a pet? Look at those puppies! They are so cute! Yeah, but I'm allergic to their fur. Oh, really? Have you got a pet? Yeah, I have a parrot at home. It always copies my words. Wow, I can imagine! How about you? Do you have any pets? Sadly, I don't. I really want to have a cat or a dog. But my parents don't allow me to have one. I can understand. Taking care of a pet is difficult. When I move out and live alone, I will buy a pet for myself. How do you do? Good morning, Tracy. How do you do, Jack? Where are you going? Me? I'm going to the supermarket. Are you going to buy something? Yeah, I need to buy some ingredients for lunch. What about you? Are you going to the supermarket too? No, I'm on my way to the park. I'm going running there. Wow, you are so sporty. Thanks. See you later. See ya. How can I help you? May I help you? Good morning, sir. How can I help you? I'm looking for a new t-shirt. Do you have any? What size are you looking for? Large or extra large is okay. What color do you like? I love bright colors. Red, orange, or yellow works for me. Please follow me this way. We have a variety of bright t-shirts for you. What do you think about this yellow one? Wow, I love it. But don't you think it's a bit small for me? This t-shirt is size large. If you think it's still small, here's the extra large one. This one is bigger. I will try it on. Can I try it on? Excuse me. I like this dress a lot. Can I try it on? Yes, madam. You can try on anything you like in our shop. Where is the dressing room? It's on your left, madam. Oh, I see it. Thank you. By the way, how many clothes can I try on at the same time? You can bring up to three items to the dressing room. All right, got it. If you need anything else, please tell me. Enjoy your shopping. Topic, what's the temperature? Hello, Mia. Long time no see. How was your life in Moscow? I'm pretty good, thanks. It does not take me much time to get used to this place. Good to hear that. I see you're wearing a wool scarf. Is it cold right now in Moscow? 
Yeah, it's very cold and windy today. What's the temperature? It's four degrees Celsius. Gosh, it must be freezing cold. I know, right? But don't worry, I'm quite used to it. How about Chicago? What's the weather like? It's sunny and warm today. What time is it? Excuse me, sir. I don't have my watch with me now. May I ask what time it is? It's half past 4 p.m. Thank you. Do you know when the next bus will come? It's supposed to be here now, but maybe it's a bit late today. Let's wait for five minutes. Oh, thanks. Do you know why it is late? I think it's because of the traffic jams. I heard there was an accident. I see. Thank you. You're welcome. What's the date today? Lucy, do you know what the date is today? It's June 24th. And? And it's Monday. No. What? I don't get what you mean. You forgot it, friend. Tomorrow is Tom's birthday. And we decided to make a surprise birthday for him at midnight tonight. Ah, I remember. Thanks for the reminder. What should we do now? Buy a cake? We still have a lot of time, so let's make a cake for him. Great idea. How are you? Hello, Linda. How are you? I'm good, thanks. You? I'm great. Where are you going? I'm going to the grocery store near here to buy some food for my mom. What about you? Where are you going by bike? I'm just going bike riding. I think I will relaxingly ride around the town. Wow, that's great. Yeah. Do you want to join me after shopping at the grocery store? Yeah, I would love to. Can you wait for me outside of the store? Sure thing. Let's go together. Where are you going? Hello, Luke. Hi, Andy. Are you going to the park? No, I'm not. Where are you going? I'm going to the basketball court. What about you? Oh, I'm going to the park, but I'm going to play basketball there. Wow, really? Yeah, I often play basketball at the park because I don't know any basketball courts near here. Then you should come with me, bro. My friends and I always play on the basketball court. Great, can I join you? Sure, why not? Let's go together. I'm going to introduce you to all my friends there. What is your major? Hello, my name is Linda. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Linda. I'm Anna. What is your major, Anna? I'm an international management student. How about you? My major is tourism and hospitality. Oh, so your future dream is to work as a tourist? Good guess. Actually, I want to work for my family's hotel. It's a three-star hotel near the beach, so it attracts a lot of people. Ah, oh, I see. Interesting. For me, I want to be a businesswoman. That's why I chose this major. 
Fantastic. What do you want to do after you graduate? What's the matter, Tracy? You look worried and tired. Nothing, it's just... What do you want to do after you graduate, Martin? Wow, why do you ask so suddenly? I'm just curious. I want to be a content creator on social media. And you, what do you want to do? I don't know. Is there anything that makes you feel interested? I like drawing, but my parents want me to be an accountant. Because your major is accounting and finance, right? Actually, I didn't choose this major by myself. My parents did. I think you should have a serious talk with them. This problem is related to your career. I think they will understand. I will try to talk to them. Thanks for your advice. Don't worry. I'm here if you need me. How did you learn English? David, you are French, but your English is excellent. How did you learn English? Thanks for your compliment. Honestly, I learned English by speaking English every day. Really? Did you practice with a native speaker? Yeah. When I was eight years old, I lived next to an American family. I used to come to their place and speak English with them. That was a great way to practice English. Who do you live with? I heard that you already moved out, Kim. How's everything? It was a little bit difficult at first, but now I can handle most of the things. That's great. Who do you live with? I live with another roommate who's from California. Wow, is she friendly? She's a good friend. We only met each other last month, but she treats me so well. Good for you. I hope that you can live harmoniously with your roommate. What time do you get up? I'm so sleepy. What time do you get up? I usually get up at 8, but yesterday I stayed up late and woke up at 10. Gosh, why did you stay up late? Homework? No, I was talking with my mom last night until 2 a.m. She was worried because this is the first time I live far away from home. She was scared that I cannot take care of myself. I see. And I told her not to be worried because I'm still doing well. Yeah, I can see that you are a strong girl. When do you do morning exercises? Hello, Layla. Are you going running? Yeah, I'm trying to do some morning exercises. You too? Yep, this is my first time waking up early and doing some exercises. Oh, wow, really? You should join me more often. When do you do morning exercises? Usually at 6 a.m. Today I woke up a bit late, so I went running at 6.30 a.m. I see, okay. I will go running with you starting from now on. Great. Have you been waiting long? Rachel, I'm here! OMG, I'm so sorry, Linda. The traffic was terrible today. I couldn't even move my car when I was on Main Street. How long have you been waiting? No, Rachel, 
Take a deep breath and keep calm first. I also just got here. And I got stuck in the traffic as well. How did you get here? I came by train and the train I went to was crowded with people. I felt like there was someone stepping on me. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Today's the weekend, so everybody's out. I hope the movie we're about to go to will not be too crowded. Can I speak to Emma, please? Hello, may I ask who's calling? It's me, Emily. Can I speak to Emma, please? Oh, I'm sorry, Emily. Emma is not home right now. Can you please call back later? Oh, really? When will she come back? Emma is at the mall right now. She told me that she would be back at noon. I see. I will call back at noon then. I will also tell Emma you called. Thank you. How do you get to work? Hello, Henry. Wow, you are so early every day. You must be a morning person. Uh, thank you. Actually, it doesn't take me a long time to prepare to work. How do you get to work? I walk. Really? You go on foot? Yeah, since the company is near my house. Ah, I see. For me, I have to catch the train to get here. Was it crowded this morning? Actually, the train I catch every day is not too crowded. I think it will be more crowded during the evening. You're right, especially when everyone goes home from work. Are you going home? Hey Jane, long time no see. Hello David, how's it going? Fine, thanks. Are you going home? Yeah, I just got off work. Where's your workplace? Is it close to the subway station? Yeah, it is. I only have to walk. I only have to walk from my company to the station for five minutes. It's great to hear that. How about you? Did you just finish your work? Not really. Today is my day off. I'm going to visit my parents' house tonight. Ah, I see. How long does it take? Have you ever been to the City Art Gallery, Jenny? Yes, I have. It was such a great experience and I learned a lot from the artwork. Actually, I really want to visit it this weekend. Do you know how long it takes to get there? Where's your starting point? Maybe I will go from our dormitory. I think it's going to take around 15 minutes to get there. Wow, that's fast. Yeah, so don't worry about it. What did you do when you were at the art gallery? Actually, there was a tour on that day, so I visited the website and signed up for it. During the visit, I just listened to the tour guide and tried to learn something from the artwork. Amazing. How often do you ride the bus? How often do you ride the bus, Anna? Me? I go to school by bus every day. Do you think taking a bus is more convenient than driving our cars? I think driving our own car is more convenient. So why do you still choose to use the bus? For me, I tend to feel dizzy whenever I'm on a bus, but I think walking or using public transportation is more environmentally friendly. That's why I'm still using it. 
Wow, I never thought about it. Did you get my message? Hello, Andy, it's me, John. Hi, John, did you get my message? Yes, thank you. That's why I'm calling you to confirm. So, our meeting is on October 20th at 5 p.m., right? That's right. Do we need to prepare anything? I think we should bring our personal laptop. We're gonna need to make a project together, so a lot of things need planned out. Is it okay if I bring my tablet instead? I think it should be fine. Thank you. See you next week. See ya. Could you tell me how to get to the police station? Excuse me. Yes, sir. Could you tell me how to get to the police station? The police station. Sorry, I don't know. Thank you. Sorry. Madam, I'm new to this city and I'm quite lost now. How do I get to the police station? Ah, don't worry. It's near here. All you have to do is turn left at the end of this street. After that, please go straight a little bit more and then you'll see it. Thank you very much, madam. You're welcome. Have a good day. Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Excuse me, is there a bank near here? Sorry, I cannot hear you. Can you please say it one more time? Yes. Are there any banks in this neighborhood? Yes, there is one. How can I get there? I don't know how to tell you, but... Do you know about the Rose Supermarket? Yes, I do! Is it next to that supermarket? No, it isn't. It's opposite to the supermarket. And it's between a drugstore and a post office. Thank you very much! What's the best way to the museum? You've been to the Star Museum once, right, Tom? That's right. What's the matter? What's the best way to the museum? You mean starting from our neighborhood? Yeah. Well, I think you can go to the bus stop number 15. There will be an express bus straight to the museum. Wow, really? Yeah, and it only takes 10 minutes to get there. Fantastic. Which bus number is it? Bus number 50, if I'm not mistaken. All right, noted. Thanks a lot, man. No worries. When will she be back? Hello, Jane speaking. Oh, hey, Jane. I'm Ollie. Oh, hi, Arlie. Are you looking for Amy? Yes. Is she available to talk to me now? Sorry, but she's out at the moment. Really? When will she be back? I'm not sure. She didn't say anything to me. Can you pass on my message to her when she's home? Sure thing. What do you want to say? Can you remind her that she and I will have a meeting tomorrow afternoon? Okay, noted. I will tell her. Thank you.
You're right this time. Oh, I've had a headache lately. Are you sick? I'm planning to propose to Cecilia. What makes you have a headache? I don't know what kind of proposal she wants. A grand proposal or a simple proposal? Do you know if she likes luxury or simple things? Simple, of course. But if the proposal is too simple, I'm afraid she'll think I'm not serious and don't love her as much as she thinks. Don't worry too much. Just be honest. Prepare what she likes. Then tell her how much you love her. You can always give her a surprise. What comes from the heart reaches the heart. You often give useless advice about love. But you're right this time. Thanks, Thomas. You're welcome. I had a rough week. You look lifeless. What's happened? Oh, I had a rough week. You can share with me if you want. My mom was ill and she was rushed to the hospital. How is she? She's doing fine now. Glad to hear that. Yesterday, my air conditioner died at the worst time possible. I had to suffer in the terrible heat. That's downright unlucky. Yeah. I had a plan for my son's birthday, but that was cancelled. He had a fever for days and needed to go to the hospital. A rough week. At least the week is over. Let's welcome the new week with more luck. What happened happened, let it be. I know. Thanks, Violet. Have bigger fish to fry. Aren't you coming to the party tonight? Nope. I have bigger fish to fry. What could be more important? My test. Come on. You can go home tonight and study right after the party is over. No, not now. It's really not worth my time. Since when did you become interested in tests? Since my grades are always bad, I think I need to change. Well then, good luck with your test. Thanks. She cooked for me. Did you cook these? Wait! These are Daisy's food containers. Right. Did she cook for you? Yeah, she cooked for me. Oh, oh my, my god. god. What's wrong? Do you know what it means to have a girl cook for you? No, I don't know. When a girl cooks for you, that means that she cares for you. That means she likes you. No way. Come on, I'm a girl and I understand what this means. You really think so? Yeah. Do you have any feelings for her? Well, I do actually. She is kind of cute. Then go talk to her. This is your biggest opportunity. That's right. I bet she likes you as well. Okay, I'll do it. 